everybody, it's Christine. Time for a scrapbook process video. And what I have is my April 2023 hip kit, uh, kit. And I need to use it, but I'm gonna at least have one more layout because I still have these papers, y'all. <laughs> I don't know how I managed to do this this time. So anyways, um, I have this picture here, which was back when my daughter used to play soccer in, she would have been high school. It was probably, um, well, I don't know what exactly practice this was. Definitely a practice. Actually, I do know what this is. I, I remember this school. Um, but I just thought the sky was really, really beautiful. So I think I'm going to call it, I think it was in the summertime. I'm going to start it in the summertime. Because I think when I was searching my phone, that's what happened. I was searching for summer and this popped up. And I was like, oh, I remember that. And I was like, hot summer nights. So I'm kind of hoping, if I'm honest, I don't know for certain, if I have enough letters in here to spell hot summer nights. But that's my hope. Um... And I still have, you know, some of these ephemeras, and I still have some chipboards and stuff. I still have a little tag. So, actually, I have more than one tag because I do have this. Um, unless I trim that down and use that to mat it. So, what I'm kind of thinking is I want to use this paper here, and I want to put that down here. So, that's what I'm saying. I may trim this because I think this just looks really pretty with this. And I think I'll mat it on this. So, that is what I am. That is what I'm starting with. Uh, let me do a little trimming, and I'll be back on in a second. Well, y'all, I do not end up entitling this Hot Summer Nights, and you'll see uh, what I title it in a minute. So, what I actually decided, I started to trim this little circle-y rainbow thingy down a little bit and just mount it on that colored background. The, I'm going to call it the Monet background. And I got to be at my butt that I wanted, I didn't want to cover up the Monet so much you couldn't really see it or whatever, but I didn't really want to lose too much of the circle. So, I decided to just tear it up. <laughs> Um, I got on the edge there and I used my scissors and I just started kind of really distressing the, any, the edges and I had it in my head, okay, I'm going to really kind of do this kind of deep, deep distress. In other, in other words, I was trying to tear into it on purpose so you could kind of see the paper behind it. And then I thought, oh, I'm going to do these corners. And so I start kind of tearing these up and then um, I, I'd seen Sarah Davies do this with some water. You know, you kind of wet it and then whenever you're done, whenever it's done drying, it's a lot more like firmly in its little space or the round or whatever you want to call it, the little tore up area. So I got a little bit of water and I just start kind of tearing these corners up a little bit, wrinkling them and folding them in and all that kind of stuff. And I really like how this turned out actually. It brings it in, gives it a lot of texture. You know, it's real dimensional in a way, um, which I think is really, really kind of appropriate for this piece of paper. I think it's real pretty because it looks, it looks painted, right? It looks like it's got watercolors or something or going all around in the circles there. And it works out real well. So you'll see the title in a minute. I, I just I just think this turned out real cute. And honestly, it took me longer than it really should have because I fast around too much with the little frames I'm going to end up using. Because I don't add a ton of embellishment, but I don't know. I just was fasting around with it and reorganizing it more than I really should have because there's only three little things I was messing with. But, you know, sometimes that just happens. So anyway, I've kind of tore this up a little bit. And then I'm going to lay it on top of that Monet piece of paper there in a minute. And I'm going to go, okay, that looks pretty good. I like that. See that, y'all? You can see the little Monet stuff behind it. And I think that looks really pretty. And so I'm going to get my picture. And we'll start organizing stuff. Now, my picture here, I hadn't really decided. I thought I might mount it on this little white, this, this newspaper print. But it just didn't feel like it was going to stand out enough. So at first, I start off with this uh, black cardstock. I'm going to pull it out in just a second. You'll see it. I'm kind of looking here. Do I need to use these frames? I'm not really certain yet. I hadn't figured it out yet quite, y'all. And I know I'm going to trim this down, though. I don't think I like that too much. I thought I was going to put a dark piece of cardstock, and I go to the black, and I go, no, that's too that's too stark. I don't care for that. I, I do like black with the pastels. I did a layout not too long ago. But since I hadn't really introduced it anywhere else on this layout, I really didn't think that was going to work. So I ended up running off and finding a piece of cardstock in the purple. And that looks pretty good. I do end up distressing the edges of that purple, too, if I hadn't already. I don't, I'm not 100% certain, to be honest with you. And I've known this whole time I really wanted that picture in the lower right. I'm not really sure why. That just where it felt like it needed to go. And so I start pulling out the ephemera and thinking, okay, what can I use here? And the first thing I find is this little phrase here, and I don't use it, y'all. I really like it, and I try hard to kind of put it there. But I don't, I don't end up using it. So then I'm kind of going through this stuff. I will end up using that little pa painting frame up there in the very top. I find this little bird, though, and I go, okay, he could look cute up there. I'm, and I hadn't got far enough yet to figure out what I'm going to do with him. But I'm going to use him. I like this little stamp here. That's going to go with that. And I'm going to end up pulling out. Uh, I start pulling this stuff out. And then that's actually what in ends up inspiring me to the title. Because I notice it's a little paintbrush. And then there's this little ink. And I remembered this, this collection was kind of about, I don't know, creativity or something. 
Um, but I like the little paintbrush. And I think, okay, okay, wait just a minute. I think I'm going to rename this. Because in my, in my mind, I go, the sky is painted, you know. So I'm going to end up with a different title. It's going to have the word painted in it. Just, just spoiler alert here. But then I want to use this tag because I felt like this would be a really good base for the cluster in the upper left. So I needed to trim it just a tad. And I put that up there and I think, okay, this looks pretty good. I'm going to start building out this little base here. And then that little thing there, I actually stuck it behind that little postage stamp, but he doesn't stay like that. That's actually a paintbrush as well. So I'm going to end up putting that on top, but not quite yet. I don't, I, the ink there was kind of giving me a little angst, y'all. I have to end up, I end up pulling that ink, ink off of there. He doesn't stay. But I do like this little painted picture, for, or the little picture frame here. Because in my head I'm going, okay, now I'm going to go with the whole painted theme. It looks like a painting frame to me. Probably intentionally. I'm sure that's what it's supposed to be. And I got my little paintbrush. And I definitely want that over there with that picture. Um, so I'm just kind of fasting around here because I'm going, okay, I need something else. But I really couldn't figure out exactly what it was at first. And so I'm going to run off and, and I'm going to go off camera for just a minute. And I'm going to get my title and I'm going to spell it out. And it's going to be God's Painted Sky. And then I also decided to use this little pink sticky chipboard frame that's on the wax paper too. But first I remembered I got to glue all this down. I'll tell you guys real quick while I'm assembling all this stuff. So if your kiddo played soccer or I don't know what other sport to be honest with you. Because my kid only tried a couple of sports. <laughs> so my daughter started off initially with uh, gymnastics. And... I think I've said, I've said this before, so if you've watched me any length of time, my daughter is nearly six feet tall. I mean, she is right up on it. She's 5'11". And so if you can imagine, as a child, she was also quite tall. And so we started off with gymnastics, and it, it became pretty quickly evident that she was probably not going to be a gymnast. It was more about her flipping her body, like it was just going to take too long. It just, she's just not built for it. And after about, I guess she did it about a year. She really enjoyed it. She was really young. She was like four and she enjoyed it because it was kind of fun. You know, you go in and they did little, almost like little games and stuff. But the teacher said, basically, probably she's not going to be a gymnast. And I thought, okay, well, I want her to do something she's going to be able to be successful at and enjoy and all that kind of stuff. So we tried cheerleading next. That was a huge hot mess. She hated that. That did not work. I had to fight her every freaking time to go to practice. And so that lasted about two months. <laughs> And that's when soccer season started, and y'all, soccer was it, man. She did good at that. She was, I mean, she was still only like five, so she, five or six, I think, and uh, I think she was five, and she still kind of squatted in the grass and played with the bugs or whatever, but at least she had a knack for it. So that's what she ended up playing till basically she graduated college or went, it up, uh, went off to college and played her first year in college. Um, I did actually not have any more A's, y'all. I've used up all my A's, so I just flipped my V upside down. I don't really care. I think it looks close enough. And I think it looks cute, and I don't mind. But I put this title on here. I'm trying to use this circle, and I start with this, and I'm going to put sky underneath painted, and I think that looks dumb, y'all. <laughs> I decided that looked real dumb. So I'm going to cut away in just a second, and I'm going to fix it because I sit and look at that for just a minute, and I go, that does not look right. <laughs> I mean, even looking at it now on camera, I'm like, that looks horrible. What was you doing, Christine? But I do like the little tag up there, so I'm going to have to glue it down. But I end up kind of moving this stuff around. I realize, you know what, that's got to all be on a single little ring or it looks just goofy. It just wasn't the right kind of title to layer in multiple lines. Um, I mean, I could think of other things that I could have done as a if I could have spaced it different or whatever. Maybe it's just because Sky only had three letters. But y'all can see now I put it all on one ring, and that looks way better. <laughs> I mean, y'all, I'm serious. I laughed at myself when I saw I go, that looks terrible. All right, so now I got my little tag. I got to put my string in there. I haven't glued my little pieces down quite yet. My lower right corner, I'm kind of done with it, though, y'all. I don't actually do any other small embellishment, embellishments at this point. I, I, don't, I didn't really have anything left in my ephemera that I thought was really going to work. I did pull out a couple of little wordy bits. And, an issue, and I, I don't know if I did on camera, though, but I tried them in the lower left corner. I didn't like how it looked. So I don't end up with any other embellishments in that in that uh, oh that's a lie there's one little wordy bit I don't have a, oh yes I do I have it on there. it's called happy heart I've got that over the top of that pink frame and everything um I did put that over the top of that little pink frame but that's it that this piece up here I've got the little postage stamp going on top of the tag and I'm gonna put a little bit of foam up underneath my little paintbrush with the flowers and then I'll put a little foam up underneath my little bird and then that's gonna look really cute um in my opinion anyways I like it you know and I'm gonna stick that up there and then after that, I'm going to kind of look at this, and I'll think, okay, well, it's, I, it's the funny thing is I spent quite a little bit of time, but I hadn't put a ton of stuff on it, and I felt like I needed to do something extra to kind of uh, justify the time I'd spent. <laughs> so I'm going to run over and get some Nouveau drops. I'm going to find some that are kind of a teal color. I'll show you on the camera here, right there. You can kind of see them. Uh, the teal one's a stone one. It's got like, it called it stone something or other, so... 
I put that, they kind of match that middle ring is why I liked it. And then the pink one is, um, it's more of a, it's more of a smoother one. Um, I'm not looking at it y'all and I'm so sorry. You can probably go back and pause, but it's, it's more of the smoothie, uh, gluey one almost. The, the blue is, or the teal is more, uh, grainy, but the, the pink is a little more smoother. And I just kind of fill out some little, I started to get enamel dots and then I decided against it and got this stuff and I just kind of fill these out. And then I noticed there was, you know, all the little sprinkles with the navy blue. And so I actually end up adding pink dots to inside those navy blue pieces. And then that's all I'm going to do the layout, y'all. I think this turned out real cute. I'm not going to lie. I may actually come in and uh, journal on the back side because the back of that Monet is a black and white little polka dot. So I can add a little story to the back of it. Just kind of talking about how we saw beautiful skies whenever she had practice. Anyways, that's what she did. She had soccer practices all year long. And this was summertime and it was probably 9,000 degrees when this happened. But it was so beautiful. I didn't care. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll talk soon. Bye.